Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to day two coverage. This is the pre-race coverage of the Fur Rondi Open World Championship Sled Dog Race in downtown Anchorage. You're right here live with Kill Casey. I'll be your host all weekend. We've been posting live feeds throughout the week, beginning on Thursday with the bib draw, Friday with day one. Here we are Saturday, day two. It's a really exciting day here in Anchorage, Alaska. And thanks everybody for joining us yesterday. We do request you let us know where you're cheering from, who you're cheering for. And if you've ever been to the Fur Rondi in downtown Anchorage, we know we have an audience all around the world. We consider you part of our Fur Rondi family. We want to make sure you feel welcome here to give a shout out to your favorite musher and cheer them on. Okay, the start list. So it's a reverse start for day two. So that means the slowest teams go out first, okay? So the way that this is gonna line up is even though Buddy Streeper had a super fast time yesterday, he won't be going out until the very end. Two minute intervals between starts means that the slowest team, Tony's team, bid number is gonna be now bid number 26, he's gonna go first and then Buddy Streeper will go 52 minutes later. So it's gonna be a long start process if you're waiting for the champ to go, last year's champ, we just want to make sure you're in the loop on how it works. Reverse start today. We've got the mushers meeting happening right now. We also have some folks in, uh, former champion, Arlie Reynolds is here. We have, I can see Thomas Warner's in the house. He'll be racing at Ditterad. We want to give a shout out to all the former champions who are either tuned in or are downtown in the city today. Uh, there's not been that many folks who have won this race. It's one of those extremely competitive events that people wait their whole career to have the right alignment of dogs training and opportunity and uh, if you talk to the mushers long enough who run this race like our interview with buddy yesterday he said look you could come around any corner and there could be a moose and it could change your whole game right then and there so this is the kind of event where there is no saying anybody's going to have a smooth sailing to get through this amy dunlap had a phenomenal time yesterday she's out of salcha alaska she's in second place Karush Parto from Chugiak, third place right now. Greg Taylor out of Fairbanks in fourth. Guy Girard out of Quebec came in at fifth. Marvin Cochran, who had that awesome uphill run yesterday, in sixth. And then Maya Hardem, 18-year-old rookie out of Canada. She's in seventh, but she's also running a championship team. Uh, Mark Hardem has Arlie Reynolds' old team. Don Cousins came in eighth. Michael Tetzner, nine. And Gary Markley, ten. So that's your top ten. I'm going to turn the camera around so we can get a little bit of time here with our scene. This is our mushers meeting again. There's Thomas Warner visiting. Well, not visiting. He's going to be mushing. Yeah, this is Race Marshal Janet. Uh, we're not trying to get you the audio here. She's talking to the mushers, but I can give you the audio. She's letting the uh, mushers know to be grateful to all the volunteers out there, thank them, and uh, of all the different trail hazards. But this is not the type of meeting that I'm trying to get you all the words. So just so you know, uh, you're getting the insider look here as if you were a musher. That's our gift to you, but I'll translate what they're saying. Show kids, all right. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Can you help me out today? Hi.
Okay, you're getting an insider's look here at the mushers meeting, folks. This is not open to the public. This is not uh, something that you're allowed to be at, but I'm giving you some special insider privileges here. So there's no sound, Nancy and Lisa, who have been noticing that. We're not trying to get you sound right now. Uh, this is for the mushers, but we're getting you a good look at what they get to do in the morning, which is get the trail report, get the vet report. There you go. Okay, right on. That's your little look at the mushers meeting there. Don Cousins had a hell of a day yesterday. Look at Don sitting in, what is that, Don? Eighth place? Yeah. Okay, this is the better mic for you here. So go ahead and tell your fans back home what your plan for today is. Yeah, we're going to go out with 13 today and we'll go out with the same leaders of IG and Oswald. So saving Brooklyn for tomorrow, see how she does. Okay, so your fans back home, do they know They know all those dogs? Yeah, they know them. Os Oswald's a two year old Brooklyn's a yearling. And Iggy, she's just the boss of the truck and she's four years old. Okay, great. And then uh, you look great coming up to Cordova yesterday. How'd that feel? Yeah, pretty good. I tried to run up the hill, but I guess I'm getting a little old. Today, so. <laughs> I know. I was giving you a little heck yeah. for kicking. But no, you, but your team was smooth and that's yeah, the key, yeah, right? There's lots of good power there. They're used to pulling hills and they're a very young team. They're excited and they, they enjoyed themselves yesterday. So. Right on. Well, you have a lot of fans from all your years of mushing here. What is it, 20 plus now? Yeah, it's quite a few I've been coming here, yeah. So good luck today. We'll be cheering for you on the hill, of course. Thank you kindly. Right on. Don Cousins again here. Let's give you a look at his whole setup. There his, he's going to put on his bib. Remember, they get a new bib each day, folks, because they, they have a different start order each day. <clears throat> so Don will be going out number eight. Or he has bib number eight. He'll be going out quite a ways back, right? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Awesome. KP, you got a second? All right. I'm going to be bringing in one of the one of the possible future champions here, Karush Barto. He's an international superstar musher. But this is your, only your second Rondi. So I'm going to put the camera on you. Go ahead and tell folks what your plan is today. Oh, the plan, you're taking 12 uh, today. We had uh, a couple of sore dogs yesterday, 14 yesterday, 12 today. Uh, it, today is the uh, yearling year for us. We have uh, lots of yearlings in the team. I'm very happy with them, very, very happy with them. Um, we were conservative yesterday, kept the team at um, the slow pace, uh, not the usual going crazy. Um, and uh, they came home pretty strong. I saw a couple of videos of my team and uh, they had it in them. And the dogs that were not, the dogs who are out today, they are not tired dogs, they got sore. It's a tough trail, you know, it gets sugary and... right. It's rough on him. It's definitely the toughest race, uh, the toughest race in the world, period. I think Eric LaForce found that out yesterday, not to throw anybody under the bus, but you, you know, when people come here from all over the world, they want to have a great Rondi, and then they realize what we say about this race is true. The number of distractions, the number of challenges, the possible issues that come up, the trail, yeah. right? You cannot prepare yourself for this race. You know, regular races, you know, you go to, uh, uh, North Pole or to uh, Onac, you race the trail that you can train on. You cannot train here in the streets. Uh, so <laughs> right, right, you right. cannot train with cars, people, <laughs> moose, everybody, tunnels, bridges, more tunnels and more bridges. So it is not a race, it's more of an adventure, honestly. And uh, you can have a phenomenal race and within a second it can be a mayhem, right? Right, right, and, right. Uh, we'll try to avoid the mayhem today. And, uh, <laughs> Try to be conservative again, uh, keep a little bit of juice for them uh, for tomorrow. Right, for tomorrow. And how do you pace yourself? Do you use a GPS? Do you uh, use a yeah, watch? What do you GPS. do? We have two GPSs actually, one for you know for different stuff. And uh, try to keep them uh, you know, uh, in the you know, in the 17 to 18. Um, it's hard to control them. In That's the miles per hour then yeah. for folks in, in Europe? Yeah, okay. uh, around you know, 30, uh, 30 kilometers or so. Uh, uh, but it's hard to control them the first part of the trail because they're so wound up, so crazy, so they're like <laughs> really out of control for the first few miles. But then you settle down and you establish a pace that you want to see and the lines that you want to see and uh, try to get them through the 25.3 miles that we have. <laughs> well, congratulations on being in third right now. Thank you. I'm always proud of you. KP has always been good to us here in Alaska when we moved up here. He and his wife always having us over for dinner, making us feel welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. some lonely first years, but now we feel like we're home, home. here. 
That's Thank right. Thank you so much. Thank You've you, been buddy. a big part of that. Thank you. So here's uh, KP is going to head back to his truck. Remember, reverse start means even though he's in third place, it's going to take him a long time to get the official nod to start because he has to wait for 23 other teams to go ahead of him. So that's what's going to happen today. Slowest teams go out first. Fastest teams go out last. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to try to get you some more interviews here. Let's go get the bud. Streeper, thanks for all your comments, folks. Um, Lisa asked, uh, Lisa Safel, one of our great fans from out in Canada, asked, is Eric running today? When I talked to him yesterday, he was saying his back was hurt. Um, and he was, uh, you can watch that interview both on YouTube and on the Fur Rondi page. And so I'll go down there and check it out. I'm not sure if I saw his trailer here yet. Okay. So here we go at the massive street from Mobile. And Buddy's talking with the A-Chill kids. This is the George Atlas School Program. So there you go. You have the champion being a very good mentor today. Okay, let's give you a good inside look. So I think that's important. Yeah, I do so. But... Yeah, well. Hi. There's Bud. We're going to give... Uh, and we have Mr. Byfeld here. Right? How's it going, Kale? Yeah, you didn't get a chance to do Rondi, but you no, didn't own it. It's my first time to the Rondi, so okay. it's all right. Yeah. Cool. Yep. How's it feel to be on the streets? It feels amazing. It's, you know, all the mushers and eating <laughs> bud, talking dogs. It's, it's heaven. Being able to talk to a champ. Yeah, talk to the Think champ. about all the great mushers and Anna and exactly. Doc Lombard and... Yeah, and well, uh, and the families, your family, your family, uh, right? My family, yeah. you know, the Earhart's and Gareth Wright. Yeah, there's a lot of history. Oh, the, the Cockrights, pretty yeah. cool. And, and they all yep. raced here, right here. Yeah. And they didn't start somewhere else. It was right there. And uh, this that view I love. I really like it. Like coming here. It's that sign, that Fourth Avenue yes. sign that you see in the 1950s and stuff. Yeah. That it's the only place in the world you can do that. You got the history, and it's, yeah. it's great. We brought some students in, so they're, we're all going to be in the shoot here, being able to get a, you know up close and personal view, and it's going to be fun. Hopefully, we get some uh, young guys that are going to race this race in 10 years' time is the goal, yeah. right? I want to yep. be one of them. I'm not young, but I want to be one of them. <laughs> I want to be one of them. There we go. I want to be there too in 10 years. So that's right. That's right. Come on, kids. Come over here. Yeah, get on in the Come camera, with bud. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tom Huntington put up a really great post today. You know, he's up in Nome and he's analyzing your uh, your training. Did you out go on the trail this morning? No, or I did morning? two days ago. Yeah, and it, how to look for you? A couple days ago, before the yeah. race, I trained a team around there to get a look at it. I have okay. not been on but the not course. Not on race day. Okay. No, I'm we can't. That up. That's good to clear up. And then, uh, what about the cloud covers? That can help us today. Yes, I do think so. It's going to be a little bit cooler. You won't have the, the you know, the, the, the sun. But, you know, I think it's probably going to jeopardize the spectators. You know, they really like sunny days. But I think the dogs are going to love it. It's going to be a great, great conditions for the dogs. It's still chilly. We got parkas on. I know. I got hat on today instead of my paper right? hat on. These are interior boys with fur ruffs on. Like, this is... This is kind of chilly for Anchorage. Anyways, uh, it should be great. I think everybody should have a good run today. And then uh, I know there's going to be a lot of comments for you, buddy, on there. I'll get to them later. But everybody can leave their, their comments for the mushers. They'll see them later today when they get home to their hotels. Homewood Suites for you, Candlewood or Homewood? Uh, Candlewood Suites, yep. Candlewood Suites, yeah. Right on. And then yesterday we talked about the speed, how they recover after that. Really well, yep. They took their Revive, which is the post-exercise supplement from uh, from K9 Health Forward. And... Um, 90 minutes later, it, it's really amazing how good they look and how afterwards. So they actually ate three meals yesterday. We got the calories in them, and they drank this morning. So they look really good. It's a strong team. Okay, and you're used to this, um, to the waiting game now. You have to wait till 12.50 something to go, yeah. right? And I know a lot of your fans are like, let's see, buddy, let's see, buddy. But they're going to have to wait for 25 teams. Yeah. But you're often in this position, right? Yeah, there are many of the races in Canada and now the Alaska have went to the reverse start format. And it, it just works when you got lots of logistics and you got lots of people. It doesn't close down the city for as long and it makes it for an exciting race. Um, however, you do have to wait a little bit longer. So it does keep the anticipation level high and I think that's, I think it's really beneficial for the dog race. Okay, cool. And is it weird passing all those teams or just business? No, no, because you are in your area. If there was only a 10 team race, then you might catch the slow teams. Okay. But right now there's 25 teams. There's no way I'm going to see teams. I'm only going to see a couple of teams. Okay. I might not even see a team today. Okay. Because we're so close in racing. It's not big gaps that we're going to cover, and you just don't beat anybody by four, six, eight, ten minutes. You don't do that. That um, is a really good insight, folks, back at home. More um, passing for the uh, middle. <laughs> 
two later part of the race. The the top 15 teams, you might get one or two, and that's it. But it's the teams from the middle of the pack to the, the back of the pack that are going to see a lot of jeopardizing. You've seen that before, Joe? They really uh, bottle up. And you can have five or six teams on the street at the same time. And that's what we call moving day, right? There's going to be a lot of position changes. So Maybe we, not yours, hopefully, but... No, that's right. <laughs> Today's moving day because some teams may have run over their ability and some of the teams might have run under their ability and you really want to be in that position, the team that run under their ability for the moving day process. You really want to go up today. Do you think a musher who's nervous about their team right now, the dogs are going to feel it? Absolutely. They felt it yesterday and you could pretend that you're not nervous. They don't. They, you don't even have to speak. <laughs> the dogs know completely how you're doing. So it's really just to go back to your training and, and your, I know we're on Anchorage, but you really got to think about just putting together a, a, a second day, a second run here and just run your race and the dogs will just run the team. Don't get caught up in the, in the, in the, in the lights here and enjoy the run. And really, I'm telling that to the rookies. That's one of the things I say to them. I say, take in the presence. Don't be overwhelmed by it enjoy the fact that you're here and that you made it here right. and then they'll take pride in that and then the dogs will feel that pride and usually will have a pretty good run instead of being holy i'm i'm in over my head <laughs> and the dogs will feel that too so i really say take it in and enjoy the fact that you're here because that's the biggest part of the race to just get to the start line and if you did congratulations you're, you're on a short list of people that have brought a team to anchorage and I want to be on that list with Joe. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. Everybody right? does. We yeah. all do. Yep. Here's Buddy the Champ. Thanks so much. We always appreciate yep, the bet. insights. and means a lot. We know Terry and Ed and everybody's watching back home. You want to say Hi, everybody. Me? Yep. Hi, everybody. <laughs> right on in the HL kids looking great. Okay, cool. We'll keep cruising. Thanks, guys. All right. Okay, folks. So there you just heard it from the champ. Seven-time champ, which means he's chasing some records. He's got to chase a record of uh, George Atla, course, the most winningest. Uh, for Ronnie Musher in history and uh, George had 10 beginning in 1958 uh, and then we also have uh, Eggle Ellis had quite a few championships in there and of course Buddy Streeper is working on his ace right now uh, he's got a long way to go to get there and, uh, and I just want to make sure we're timing wise that we're looking good let me see if I can see some of your questions here can you try to talk to Tetzner let's talk to Arlie for uh -oh. one second Here's a champion. How you doing, Kale? Good to see you, buddy. You know what? You have a lot of fans out there. I'm going to let this camera be on you. Um, when I got into this race, you were working your ass off to win it. We were, And yeah. then you got there. We were fortunate, and we did, yeah. What does day two feel like for Day two guys? is a dangerous day, man. So, <laughs> I mean, it. The day one, you try to sort of figure things out and just make sure that you get around. And there's always a few surprises. But day two, anybody who went out a little too hard day one, is really going to pay for it on day two. And anybody who takes too big of a dog team on day two, that's a dangerous day. It really is. But if you get through, day, it's also the day if you have the right team, you can make a huge move. So it's, I think, the most exciting day, actually. Um, and then by day three, things are pretty sorted out and people are just racing. But they, this is the most exciting day of the race. It'll be fun. To, I think there's, between second and tenth, there is, um, everybody is so close, They're, it's going to be exciting to see what happens. A lot that. of moving around. Now, everybody has to decide which dogs to take and which dogs to leave, right? And that yeah. can be agonizing. It is, and you know, uh, Doc Lombard used to say, you win by the dogs you leave behind. And I mean, I've seen people like Roxy, when she won the North American, and her last day she had nine dogs, and she won the heat. Right. So, and Eagle's done that too. I mean, it's, it's but you're much faster with a team that can run together than ones you're worried about. Right on, and you're one of the very few champions here today. Oh, Roxy's here. We got here. Roxy, we got Ken Cheesick, we yeah. have you. Yeah. But there's not a whole, there's not dozens of Don't them, right? Buddy. Uh, wow, <laughs> Buddy, he's yeah. in the race. He's the only one in the race. But then we're racing with other legends like Hans Gott and Lance Mackey from the distance kennels. Yeah, and this race is dedicated to Gareth Wright, who's probably the best dog breeder of all time. And, um, you know, a guy who was a, a very important mentor in my life, both he and Roxy. So it's kind of cool. This is a pretty special race. First time I've been here without a dog team, so it's kind of a different <laughs> Right on. And we do have a write-up on Gareth in our intro so folks can read about That's him great. and his lineage and, and how that all went down. So, Arlie, always a pleasure. Well, great Thanks to... so much. This man taught me a lot. What, what Arlie taught me about was you have to teach your dog team to be distracted and be comfortable <laughs> with that, right? Music in the dog lab. Yeah, we... Scarecrows on the trail. Build little things, right? Make them used to people. This race is the king of distractions. Yeah, you got to get them used to stuff. You can right find on. anything on this trail. So, yeah. Including partiers and moose and, and one year people drive vehicles by accident on it and oh, you yeah. have to mush around a truck or something. Yeah, snow, or kids on snowshoes, fat tire bikes. I mean, you name it. <laughs> it's, it's out there. But it's that, that's what makes this race special. There's no race like this in the world.
And where will you watch from? How does this go for you? I'm actually going to stay here on the street because I'm going to be working okay. with the HL kids. So. Okay, great. Okay, we just interviewed him. Thanks again. All and right, we'll, we'll catch up with you. Good Here's Arlie. Let's see how we, this is his University of Alaska Fairbanks coat. You can always tell when Arlie's in the house. He's got his ruffs on and his UAF set up. He'll be working the downtown area right here. And uh, hey, Raymond Huntington, that's great. Tom Huntington, thanks so much for your post this morning, Tom. Um, uh, we have some requests of who to go find. Let me do a little bit of work here uh, on finding some mushers for you, folks. Let's go down and see if we can get... Okay, cool. We got Todd Whitcomb right here. He's getting all his stuff lined out. There's Todd. He's discussing his... Bev Stevens in the house. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Race day today. Happy Rondi, right? Yep. Day two, big time. That means people are uh, getting more and more nervous about how this is going to go down. Okay. There's our Lance, Roberta. So, Roberta Chase, there you go. We brought you down to Lance. And he's right now in the old. Uh, Got the camera on there, so we'll keep moving. And here's one of our canine crews. This is so exciting. This is the Madsen canine crew. Woo! Madsen! Hey, there you guys are. And you're helping out one of the youngest, toughest mushers there is in this race. Eli Campbell, right? And the Dave Turner team. Cool. So what's the what's the uh, the canine crew working on? You guys helping with paw care, massaging, liniments? with harnessing and yep. helping whatever, whatever they need us to do we're here for them <laughs> yep it'll be fun and is it your first time at a dog race like this yeah it this is big actually, yep this Absolutely. is the super bowl so people yeah, dream right. their whole that's lives right? when did you start too, dreaming so. of this race <laughs> what was that when did you start dreaming of this race um uh, man last year probably I heard yep. it was a carnival ride like a roller coaster and it yeah. is <laughs> so you're you're the exception most people like my partner Jamie she grew up knowing of this race her whole life. Oh yeah. yeah. And so like, this is something she wants to do. This is something I want to do. <laughs> you got lucky because you're in an awesome business working hard with Dave, but a lot of people are born into dreaming of being here. Oh yeah. And it's, uh, well, <laughs> right? We want to see oh, yeah. Turner on the runners here one of these days, right? I've, I've run it three times. Want to win it someday? On the podium, sorry. On the podium <laughs> sometime. Oh yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> How hard is it to get on the podium at this race? Probably the hardest race in the world to get on the podium. And today there's a lot of stuff very, about to happen out there, right? We, I mean, there's... Oh, yeah. I mean, yesterday was wild. <laughs> I read your... Uh, so for folks at home, go to Eli Campbell's Facebook page and read her write-up from yesterday if you yeah, want to know what... A, videos what, and stuff. <laughs> all the crazy stuff you came across. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it helps give me perspective on what you're really feeling out there. Yeah, and everybody's got a different race story. Uh, we all had the same trail but different things happen for everybody so exactly it's, it's fun to hear <laughs> I'll zoom out again check, check, there's our mats and crew again thank you guys thank mats and company without our sponsors we don't have the ability to bring the whole city together we don't have the ability to put a purse together we don't have the ability to move all this snow around we don't have the ability to do this so thank Absolutely. you it's critical we appreciate it all right let's go see if lance is ready guys and uh we'll head this way Oh, he's having the inner conference. There we go. There's the Lance man. Okay. Go, Ron, to go is right. Thanks for joining us from all over the world, folks. You're on, <laughs> you're on fourth half right now for the pregame. We are walking with our iPhone and gimbal. We're giving you interviews. We're giving you insights. We're letting you ask questions. Our online audience is made up of mushers and dog men and women and fans from all over the world so i often can't answer anything because i'm working but you guys can certainly help each other out uh help people whose questions are sitting there hans got right here his mobile so you can see fourth ave up and down packed with folks there's hans let's get him a good look because i know the canadians want to see this champion <laughs> yeah Let's hope for a clean run today. Yeah, right, good clean run, right? Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Uh, not very good. I was up at five o'clock in the morning. Okay. And you and what's your drop dog schedule for the for breaking this down for folks at home? I, the mushers don't get that much rest. I'm running uh, 
Oh, my drop dog schedule. Yeah. Well, midnight is the last last time I take him out. So, so that means you leave your then, warm hotel, go outside, get yeah, all the dogs yeah. out, let them. Oh yeah, and then uh, seven o'clock in the morning again. Okay, and then are you gonna run with the same team, or are you gonna leave a few back? I'm running 14 today, so I'm dropping three. Right on. Look at that. You can see some folks cheering you on here. <laughs> right you got on. Joel Mercier. He's out there in Eastern Canada, a great dog fan out there. And so these awesome. will come in all throughout the day, and it's just so cool to have you here, man. Well, Four-time Quest champion. Glad to be here. Right, and you'll be heading out. Uh, you're actually sitting pretty good. Uh, so actually not. 21. But, I mean, that's, <laughs> but in this race. Uh, no, I, I had a huge uh, tango yesterday. You, you had the five-minute tango, so... If you six, can six minutes and eight seconds. You did time it. GPS, okay. yeah. God damn it. That happens. So, that put me in the 11th place, really. Right. Okay, so then that, this sucks. could be a move up day then. Uh, still have to pass the same teams again, you know, which I got tangled up with yesterday. So I hope that's going to be, right. be better today. You know what? Uh, I watched your Cordova Hill video last night, and your team of Alaskan Huskies was loving that charge. They were charging up that hill. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I never... I was never afraid of that hill, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and they just look but, great. Uh, it's just it's good to see that, yeah, like, yeah. just that beauty of that true Alaskan team. Yeah. Not yeah. that there's not of Alaskan Huskies around here on this course, but yours have seen it all. They've been everywhere. Oh, They've yeah, been over yeah, yeah. passes. They've been. They actually like the hills. <laughs> they like those hills. But living in Whitehorse, yeah. that's good. That's good training out there, right? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Okay, who do you want to say hi to back home? Oh man, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Okay, um, everybody back I, home. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna pick anybody out specifically. <laughs> Copy that. Okay, hi to everybody back home in Hans World. Thank you so much. We always right. appreciate talking to you and good luck. Thank you. And here, remember if you need a sprint sled, Hans is gonna, he's prototyping his new one right here. He is a sled maker. So that's gonna be the new Hans Got model. Sprint sled. So he might make a few tweaks to it right there. But hopefully, uh, right on. Libby Riddle says, go catch a few today, Hans. Right, right on. And then Michelle Pimentel said, American Summit. <laughs> or, or something like that. Right on. Kathy Bathbridge, go Hans. So there, your fans are all chiming in. Right on. Okay, there's Hans right there. We're going to uh, keep an eye on the clock here because i got to get a recharge. There's Wendy avoiding me like always. Um, getting a recharge on this phone here. Wendy Callis likes to be a little private. You can find her footage yesterday. Hey! Okay, yeah, okay, Danny, I had a question for you. Okay. How was it yesterday? It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, a little scary in places. So one culvert there had a little trouble with it, but other than that, it was good. And uh, the dog team coming up Cordova, how'd that feel? You kept them focused, yeah, didn't you? You talked I, to them. I had to keep talking to you them. You kept them focused. Them going. And other than that, they did good. I mean, I didn't say a word to them until that point, you know? Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. That, yeah. Okay. That's the only place that they were, I talked to them at all, you know? The rest was all, you know, just quiet. Yep. And I had a friend actually ask, do you think Danny talks so much to his dogs? And I said, I bet not, but I bet this moment right here is very, very critical <laughs> yeah. to keep that dog team moving up yeah, over no, a hill, right? No, we don't normally talk that much to dogs. You have to keep them focused on a hill like that. Cause yep. We're not used to hills. We don't run in hills up in, uh, in Hay River at all, you know? Right. Hay River, Canada. And so you just have some fans here right now tuning in. Tadus, Hannaford. Let's go, Danny Beck. Janine Hansen, go Danny. Yeah, thank you. So all your fans, who do you want to say hi to back home? I'd like to say, uh, say hi and thank you to, for my, to my wife for holding everything together while I'm gone. And I'd uh, also like to thank all my sponsors while I'm here, like um, Aurora Ford, Mackenzie Electric, uh, Home Hardware. And I uh, hope I'm probably going to miss a few, but I'd like to say thank you to all of them. Great. And I wish everybody a real good race today. Great, and we'll be cheering you on, of course. I'll be waiting for you uh, both here at the start and then again at Cordova. Thank you. Right on, Danny. Good you to have you care. here. We're so glad the Canadians come out in such force. Here's the rig that Danny drives across the great continent to get to Alaska. He's got a horse-style uh, uh, gooseneck fifth wheel with a super nice Ford, and it's sponsored by Aurora Ford. 
And then as you can tell, he's got his uh, dog supply company, Prairie Dog Supply, helps him out there too. He's got the gooseneck system, got some fuel on board, and then the uh, Bex Racing Kennel set up. Thank you, Danny. All right, cool, we're gonna keep cruising here. Here's Tetzner for our Tetzner fans. And then we're gonna keep an eye on the clock and get back to getting ready for the start. Okay, so whoever was, we have a request for an interview with Michael. Are we doing the pregame rock out? <laughs> okay, Michael Tetzner. Yeah. What's going on? You have fans all over the world. Yes. You live in Berg, Germany, Germany yeah. and also uh, Sheep Creek Lodge, Alaska. Yes. I like it. <laughs> and how'd yesterday go? Oh, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you know, the race is not a race. It's an adventure, right? So. Buddy was just saying that. It's, it's, everything can happen. You can have the best team in the world, but it's shit on the trail. You have trouble, right? So. I load one and uh, was hard to get on some corners and stuff, bicycle and all that stuff around there, right? But you can move up quite a bit today. I'm looking at your time from yesterday. You're in ninth place. I mean, really, for what your team's capable of, this could be a, uh, a big moving day for Michael Tetzner. I don't know, but uh, I put four dogs out because okay. two, two was... And to translate that, they won't run today. They won't not run. Right. right. Four, you not, took four dogs off the team. Yeah. Yep. So I will go with 12 dogs and then put a new leader in front. We'll see how it goes, if I can move some places. Right on. You look at you, some of your fans are cheering in here. Giuseppe oh. Bombardieri. Go, Michael. Yeah. Go, Eli. Everybody's cheering for their different people. So yeah. you'll see this throughout the day. People will I like chime in. Work. It's funny. Thank you very much. Oh, it's, cool. it's cool. I it's enjoy awesome. it. I like you guys rocking out in here. Yeah, we Let's like turn up the music. Eddie Duke, tell us about your handler. Eddie's a musher, right? How'd Eddie's you get such a good musher. handler? <laughs> this is a good handler for me. Yeah, yeah. a really good handler. Like and that's part, that's key, right? You have to have good wife, good support, good... Everything. Everybody's got to work together. Yeah, but and, 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 and this mushing here, you see it's a big family, right? Oh, yeah. It's very really nice, very nice. People mostly help each other out as often as they can. Sometimes people have to focus on just their team, but even yesterday we saw with Buddy and Greg Taylor on the bottom of Cordova, they spaced just enough to avoid a tangle. Yeah. And that, that because they know yeah. that if you don't help each other out, everybody loses. So let's see if Tetzner can do a moving update. Here's his, here's his, the setup he's got. Look at that, styling. And I'll get back far enough to be able to show you the logo. There we go, Tetzner Racing Farm right there. He's got his whole dog scene set up. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, brother. There we go. Okay. We already got Don Cousins. So there's our Tetson interview there. Charlie Schaefer's joining us on the online audience. Here's uh, more views of 4th Ave here, folks. We're just about ready to power it down and get ready for the real start, but I got to show off a canine crew here. Where are you guys representing for the K9 crew? <laughs> Imaging Associates. <laughs> oh my God, Imaging Associates. Whose team are you helping out? Uh, Don Cousins. Okay, right. Classy Don Cousins. Yeah. Classy yeah. musher right there. First time at a dog race? Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, cool. Excited. Very Excellent. excited. Where's Don? Let's take the camera around here. Here's our K9 crew. These are companies like Imaging Associates that help out with giving money to the race so the race can happen and then some of their best employees can come down and help out the dogs and be in the inner circle here. This is a restricted area. The public can't just walk through here. And so they get to be right there with the dog team. In this case, Don had a great day yesterday. So they're working with a really experienced musher. And here I'll give you a little, that's the canine crew. Right on, okay, thank you, excellent. I'm gonna start working my way back up to the uh, to the front here. Should I see if Eric LaForce is back there, folks? Um, I don't think they have him on the start list today, do they? They do, number 15. Let's go see if Eric is going to, uh, <gasps> whoa. En français, s'il vous plaît. En français, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Say hi to your family. Bon, c'est une belle journée. Je suis avec ma femme et mes deux enfants à la cause de Encourage. 
avec des amis aussi, Francine et Guy. Salut à tout le monde au Québec. N'oubliez pas qu'on vous aime, on est avec vous. Merci, right merci, merci. Here's the family right here, Regine. Looking great, bib number 18. Make sure to cheer on our Canadians who came from very far away, all the way across the world. Drove the whole way out here. And we're going to get to the finish line today. Merci, merci. Okay, let's go see if Eric LaForce is here and then we're going to get, get our game on. I'm going to move you down the road a little bit faster. Here we go. Boy, Marvin had a great run yesterday, didn't he? He did. That was, uh, I was telling him this morning. And introduce yourself for us. Kathy Cochran. Exactly. And the Cochrans have a long history here in mushing, don't they? They do. He, he was already mushing when I married him. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Um, 39. Wow, okay. So he must be going on his 50 years now. <laughs> yeah. And you're always out here with a smile on your face. You're always helping. Yeah. But it takes a team, right? Yep, it takes team, family. So you can't do this sponsors. alone, right? No, 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 no. We can't do oh, it Oh, you don't want me in there. I'll yeah. break your case. Yeah. There's my pastor. Pastor yeah, Craig Nicklai. Uh, all right. Pastor Craig's here. here. Good to have you on the camera. Say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. We're on 4th Ave. We are at the Ferrandi pregame right now with Marvin's wife and pastor from which? Fairbanks, Alaska. Fairbanks, Alaska. Did I you wanna, come? You came wanna, down to help out? Yeah, well, just this cheer. one of Marvin's sponsors. Okay, great. <laughs> I want to say hi to the people in Galena, Alaska. My late grandfather, Raymond Paul Sr., was a five, six-time world champion here at the Ferrandi and in Fairbanks. So, hello, Galena. <laughs> hello, Galena out there. Right, no, and I actually have the champion list right here. So what yes. years are we talking about? Yes, um, Raymond yep. Paul, 1954 yep. and 55. This race has so much history, folks, yeah. so you're that's really at a legendary event. That's that's my Thank mom's. Thank you for broadcasting my, this. Yeah, it's that's really my, nice to watch. Raymond, right Raymond Paul is my mom's father. Cool. So here's the uh, the champion list that I carry around with me because uh, on this, sorry, I don't want to get Catherine's face out of the way there, um, that this list is the coveted list. It's very hard to get your name. You have to work a whole lifetime, like yeah, Marvin, we're still working at it. right, Marvin to get your name on the list yeah. once. So congratulations. I heard of you. To your relative. Greg Taylor. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Greg. So let me get it. Here's a shot of you. There we go. Okay, thanks so much and best of luck to Marvin. Stay focused today out there. Right on. Okay, I got to keep moving. I'm going to swing by your place. Okay, yeah, do. Yeah, please. Greg Taylor told me about Right you. on, brother. Yeah, come on. Come on by. Awesome people. Awesome race. Here's a, a big... Hello. Magnuson, one more quick hit of Bruce before we head in. I want to get you the best mics. I'm going to turn it around. There's the mic. Okay, what's your update today? Today we're going with all 14 again, the dog team's health and ready to rock and roll. You're going to go with all 14? All 14. Awesome. All 14. We had eight days of stage talk to figure out what 14 this should be. Okay, <laughs> copy that. Copy that, yeah. And then introduce your handler. This is Laura. Come here, Laura. Hi. Can't hide for too long. Where are you from? Michigan. And you've just been kicking butt here in Anchorage? Trying. Yeah, I know. I know. I wouldn't say we've kicked any butt. <laughs> <laughs> we've survived. But you're here. We've survived, but we haven't kicked no butt. You're here, <laughs> right? We're here. Okay, That's right a, on. Which was the first course of action. The for exactly. Okay, here's their setup. Big old gooseneck again. These big trailers are getting more and more popular here in the mushing scene. Super nice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna head up to the front. All right, folks. You can hear it, my voice. We're getting more and more excited. For the start of this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here and get the phone ready for the real deal. Uh, I'm looking up at the clock up there. We're getting to be about 20 minutes or so. Let me look at my watch. So great to have everybody joining, it, joining us. We've got interviews from our Canadians, our champions, uh, rookies. So go ahead and, and here's the street view. Vendors, there we go. So you can come and get your cookie fix and you can see that we're in a restricted area here. I don't see Eric LaForce's trailer, so I'm wondering if that's a scratch today. There's Danny and we got Gary. And it looks like the official time clock, 30 minutes. So 30 minute warning. One quick hit of Gary, we already got Danny. Okay, here's the first team that you saw yesterday charge up the hill. That's right. Bib number right. two, Gary Markley. <laughs> that right. is live. So, so today I'm just going to be uh, just, 
it'll like this. It'll, 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 I'll wave the kale. So You're hey, in kale. a good position today. You can move around and fit oh, yeah. ten. Oh yeah, it's possible. I could move way back or way forward. And you've done this enough to know that that you just never know until you say go. <laughs> right until thirty. Yeah. Let's see. You'll be going at about twelve twenty then, right? I think it's twelve fifteen to start today. Oh, do they move it to twelve fifteen? Yeah, because of the parade. So, oh, okay. Twelve fifteen, everybody on KL Facebook Land. Oh, I was getting ready to. Okay. Um, anyway, That's good. so I think I'm. We're gonna go to I'm about number fifth, number ten. I mean, there's, there's fifteen people in front right. of me. So okay. probably about twelve forty-five. Okay, so that's a very good, sorry uh, folks, 12.15 for start time, not noon. That changes the calibration all the way right. around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's yeah. right, because there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's horses and carriages, there's royalty walking oh, yeah. around. There's yeah. like, right. people yeah. were partying late last night. I went to the, the concert. You? Oh, did you? Where's I didn't you? stay out late, but I went to the concert. <laughs> what, what concert? Uh, it was the Jim Bean Jam over here oh, at the wow. theater. Yeah, they awesome. had a whole nice fireworks show, right? Yeah, I heard it. I didn't see it. We were, I heard it going off. Fun I, yeah. for the whole family. Oh, I love the fireworks. Here's the marquee set up. There they are. All right. One big happy small mushroom family. Does that say zero one or one zero? <laughs> I know the cameras are all are all backward here. I know. Number one for Gary. There's the right way. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll see the start line. Twelve fifteen for the start, folks. That's a huge piece of intel there that I uh, I get so busy here mentally preparing for what's ahead. Look at that, Matt. <laughs> oh yeah, which crew is this one? Hold on, let me let me get my position in here. Am I? Let me make sure I'm not in the way here. Okay, this is my third K9 crew that I have interviewed today. This is the best K9 crew. They're from Alaska. Veterinary, veterinary specials specials Alaska. Alaska. Okay, this is the Veterinary Specials Alaska crew. Yeah. I'm trying to get you all in here. The mic on the front of the phone is much better. That's all right. So, um, do we have everybody in there? Can you see everybody? Yep. That's yep. us. This is the best. That's crew the crew. That's the crew. And without your support, we can't do this race. All the coordination, the city works, the trucks, the snow moving, the police, the fencing, right? Without the support. The camera people. We can't do it, right? Thank you. And so we all contribute. You guys contribute. Your company contributes. So okay, here we go. Let's get up close on them. Right on. That is a great looking canine crew. And I'm going to watch my footing because I got dogs everywhere right around me. I got the dog poop bag right behind me. So you got to be careful here when you're around the mushers. There's that canine crew helping out. Right on, Melissa Nice and uh, Jeannie Hansen cheering on Gary Markley. There's Hans getting his team ready. Harnessed up. Oh my gosh, there we go. I can finally get it with Alex. Stand by. <laughs> Exhausting. Okay, can you, because this is your first short. time here. Yes. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Alex Crittenden from Bondurant, Wyoming. Okay, cool. And let's see if we can find, let's get with your truck. There we go. A little bit better backdrop yeah. for your, and this is the best mic, so that's why you get it this way. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so I checked you out because my friends James and Miriam are friend, good friends of you. Yeah. And I knew you were into motion from the stage. Yep. But what's it like to come to Anchorage? It's almost undescribable. Like <laughs> yesterday was one of the most unbelievable things I've ever been a part of. It was so fun. There were so many people out there. The dogs were loving most of it, but some of it they were like, this is crazy. I could just feel them looking back at me going, where are we right now? What is happening? But they did really good and we're excited to hopefully do it again today. And look, you're wearing bib number 12. That's a pretty dang good finish yeah, for day one, Yeah, you know, right? I was surprised pleasantly, and I'm, I'm not sad about it. And um, all 16 dogs are looking really good, so I think we are going with a full roster. And, yeah, just get around the course again and no crashing or crazy stuff, and it'll be a good day. What's it like coming to the base of Cordova? Oh, my gosh. I was screaming obscenities in my head all the way down that thing. <laughs> but at the end of it, I was like, okay, we made it through that. What's next? Because you go uh, down, then up, right? Yeah, down Cordova. And, and then, then you gotta come up Cordova. Yeah, coming up Cordova was good. The dogs were like, oh yeah, we know about hills, it's good. Actually, okay. I got in trouble. Everybody's been telling me that you're supposed to run all the way up Cordova Hill, and I did not know that that was a thing. So today, I'm gonna have to okay. like, kick it up I a little did bit. notice you were on the runners, but it's also a sign of a good I mean, dog team. I was team. pedaling. Yeah, you were kicking. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but you'll see some folks have the look of yeah. death in their eyes and they're yeah. running hard. Yeah. So right? today this... we're going to give that a go. I mean, when in Rome, right? So. Exactly. So who's back home that you want to say hi to? Uh, I want to say hi to my husband, Sam, and my mom and dad who are watching from North Carolina, Barry and Andrea. Yeah, you've probably seen my mom on here. She's on a lot. Awesome. Um, and then my uh, sponsor, Frank Teasley, and the whole JHI crew back home in Wyoming. Yeah, tell us about JHI. So JHI is a tour company. We do um, tours up to Granite Hot Springs and back. And uh, yeah, it's we have 180 dogs there, and we take uh, about 24 people a day up to the Hot Springs, which is pretty cool. So yeah, and then we have the racing team, and then we all work together to kind of make the magic happen. So it's good. So cool. I'm going to turn the camera around and give people a look at your setup, because okay. everybody's curious. Yeah. So your dogs are running partially in the dog boxes on the on the truck okay so just gear in the main trailer so we have a lot of meat and food and all that stuff that we have to pack so and we also bring a snow machine so if we're running on a trail we haven't seen before we can kind of go check it out and okay so you're rolling with your food your snow machine your sleds in yeah. the cargo trailer dogs in, in the, the truck, truck. Yep. okay cool yeah. good, good luck you, thank you so much it's super there. cool to finally connect oh my gosh there's Alex Crittenden very cool name, A L I X, and then and look at that, people got your name right: Jerry Bath, Johnny Gibbons. They know how to spell it. Kathy Batbridge, Elizabeth Chapman, Jeannie Hansen, Martina Hansen, Sylvia Kohler. Look at that! You got fans everywhere. You're kind of a big deal. It's great. It's great. Well, have fun out there. I'll be cheering you on, and I'll be watching you running up the hill for sure. Okay. Here we go. So that's Alex. We finally got a good interview with Alex. Thanks everybody for giving her all that love. Uh, her husband, her family, everybody will feel better about her being away for weeks and weeks and spending thousands of dollars to be in this event. Okay, Thad is getting it together here. Thad McCracken, baby number 22. And his whole family's here. We'll give him a second to get organized. Okay, let's get a quickie with that. We're going to get the camera turned around so we can get the uh, the best mic for you. Go ahead, give us your update, Thad. Well, we're just looking forward to day two. Try to have a cleaner run than we did yesterday. And uh, just as much fun, if not more. And how crazy was it out there yesterday? It was wild and crazy. It's like <laughs> a steeplechase out there. Yeah, it was fun, really fun. And I was uh, on Cone Over Hill telling everybody about your social media and how you lift me up and I'm down. So okay, yeah. That's your main, your Facebook page. Yeah. And then your children have all sorts of dances and songs. Oh, they like to dance with the dogs. And yeah, I'll interrupt yeah. this right here. Hey, hey Scott. Thank you, Scott. Scott. Thank you. Our trail man. <laughs> Back for Get after it, Scott Mariski. Okay, so then driving all this way going through it all day two it's a moving day right you can move up yeah from your position but yeah. it's more about the experience right i mean at this yeah. point you can be driving your, like as fast as you can today oh no i'm not i'm just gonna run my team and if we move up as a result we move up if we don't that's fine too okay you can't every any time i've ever tried different it doesn't work out <laughs> copy that yeah and then uh, do you want to introduce your family yeah david come here bud david